everybody, this is Todd Harris from Q1 Labs, and I am here today to talk a few minutes about how modern SIM solutions have simplified the implementation process. So before we get too deep into that, let's start from the beginning. So you have a brand new SIM. What do you do with it? You knew you needed to buy one, but why did you really buy one? The reality is that most SIM and log management solutions are purchased to satisfy a compliance need. It's no surprise to anybody. Most are purchased for the log management reporting capabilities, but fully utilizing your SIM can add more dimensions to your security program that just aren't possible with regular log management point solutions. Using a SIM for simple compliance needs is overkill, and most IT security professionals know this. But to fully understand the potential of a SIM, vendors need to step in and provide guidance. After you've gone through the first few initial steps, it brings you to the first major phase, which is to get the solution fully deployed and collecting data from log sources that help satisfy the business case you presented when first deciding to purchase a SIM. So any, any modern SIM should do this agent list and auto-detect most sources. That is, there's no need to run around to every log source and every server, every device, etc., and install some type of an agent. An example of this, for healthcare, it might be focusing on devices that store electronic patient health records. So maybe it's focusing, once you start installing your SIM, uh, start collecting events from those log sources first. For federal agencies, it might be focusing on servers that are subject to specific compliance audits. Uh, so some of those servers that might hold sensitive data. Always focus on those first. This makes more sense rather than opening the floodgates to every single network packet and event coming through your data center. This could be overwhelming and time consuming to filter through to the important events. So let's jump quickly into some of the specifics around the first phase, deployment. Here are some of the key log sources you should consider starting with no matter what your industry is. Authentication events from your enterprise identity management service, whether it's Windows Active Directory, CA, whatever it might be. Perhaps focus on events such as authentication rejects and attempts. Another one is logs from anti-malware solutions. Third one is Windows, Linux, and Unix servers and other OS admin logs. Now these are some of the basic things that you should include um, as a log source that I'm going through. The fourth one would be perimeter firewalls and VPN concentrators. However, there's one flag with this is that it might result in a fair amount of noise at first. But after some fine tuning, you should be able to get to the point where you're happy with it. File and directory auditing on mission critical servers. So those that contain electronic patient health records and information, uh, personally identifiable information, sensitive company info, and intellectual property. Those are mission critical servers that have sensitive data on them. So some of you will notice the absence of IDS and IPS events and network activity flows. IDS IPS events are core telemetry. However, many IDS IPS implementations never get properly tuned and can overwhelm unseasoned SIM administrators. So this goes back to the opening the floodgates of information. This can be an intense amount of information. I think when you first install a SIM solution, you don't want that level of noise right off the bat. So once you get the SIM tuned to around 25 or so offenses uh, or incidents a day, maybe turn on the IDS IPS and then start tuning again from there. In fact, SIM often provides a better platform to monitor and tune your IDS IPS than the vendor tools themselves. So that's something else to keep in mind. The second major phase after your SIM has been assembled and patched and after the log sources are set and event correlation begins, the SIM starts constructing baseline activity models. The IT security team can start observing a normal operation of their infrastructure. This combined with network flow data creates a near endless source of data that can be overwhelming if not tweaked and tuned to the organization's needs. And this is the phase where SIM administrators realize the power they have at their hands. So the third major phase is to dig deeper into your own use cases. Oh, and this is, of course, while constantly tweaking and tuning the SIM. So beyond log collection and source setup, think about the data that can be fed into the SIM and if it can help you sort an ongoing business issue. So let's say you're responsible for IT risk management at a large investment brokerage, and the business is concerned about trader fraud. Instead of buying an expensive, highly verticalized package backed by a few people in a garage, Perhaps you can feed the transactions into your SIM, parse out the trade value, shares added, and other fields. And now you can write a correlation rule that alerts on anomalous trades, ones that perhaps exceed the average trade value over a period of time by no more than 50%, let's say. Or create a watch list on certain stocks based on market news, 
which is parsed from Twitter feeds. Yeah, you can do that with some sims, and it's not as hard as you might think. So rule building is part of tweaking and tuning your sim. Many older sim solutions, yet still predominant, require scripting and understanding of a programming language. Modern sim solutions are stocked with out-of-the-box reports and make creating your own as simple as clicking through a few drop-down menus. So these are the use cases that you're going to see in your security program and uh, we're always interested at Q1 Labs to hear different use cases that you have that are unique. We've got clients coming to us all the time with different ways they're using their SIM solution. We want to hear more from you uh, and how you're using your solution no matter what vendor you're using. So let us know. Try us on Twitter. It's at Q1 Labs. You can send us an email, info at qnlabs.com, or uh, find us on Facebook and several other locations. So please let us know what you're doing with your SIM solution. We'd love to hear it.